okay, it's up then, to your boyfriend to understand that that's what you like. I hope he understands. Well, for <laughs> me, if he can do that, at least he should try and do it for me. Like, okay, my wife doesn't like to when I come to bed, you know, all sweaty from the day's errands and whatnot. So it, he just has to, you know, find a way. <laughs> Gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back to our podcast. It's your boy Jesse Keegan. And your girl Fanny Lungu. And you're listening to Diving In with Fanny and Jesse. Hey guys, welcome back to our podcast. I know we haven't posted in a while, but we're back bigger and better now. And today I'm joined by my friends. Billy. So you can just introduce, <laughs> introduce <me>. yourself. <laughs> Hi guys, I'm Inonge, Fanny's friend, in fact, favorite friend. <laughs> and today we're actually going to be talking about um, marriage. So Inonge, what do you think about marriage? Marriage is... Ish. Oh, okay, wait, in wait. this generation? <laughs> it doesn't matter. The first question should be, do you want to get married? I mean, of course I do. Obviously, maybe. I don't know. I don't know yet. <laughs> unless answer. no, unless I meet someone that convinces me to get married, then yeah, I would want to get married. But then how long would that take? Ish. I don't know. Maybe like while we're dating, if I see myself, you know, like wanting to spend eternity with this person, then I would want to get married. After years of dating, months of dating, what? I don't believe in the whole, no, we have to date for like eight years or like six. No, maybe, maybe a year. I think a year would be enough. So you think after a year of dating someone, they can propose? Yeah. I mean, isn't this... that too soon? No, this girl, what's her name? Chloe Kardashian. She married my mom like 30 days. After, yeah, like after knowing, like maybe that's why it didn't days. work. <laughs> <laughs> maybe that's why that didn't work. Yeah, I guess so. I'm trying to think. I want to get married someday and have ten children. Why? Why I think would I you want that ten? Because I want to be maybe. I don't know. No. I just want ten. Why would you do that? To See that ten, ten is maximum. Mm. Two is minimum. Mm. I don't know. I just want one kid. Just one, what? one, one cute baby is enough for me. What if they're not cute? So you have to try again. But anyway, parents <laughs> never admit that child is not cute. I mean, which, which child? I mean, which parent would accept that? Okay, my child isn't all that. That's why when that child does something, you'll be saying that's why you look like your father. <laughs> I thank God I look like my mom. <laughs> I look like everyone. No, I look like my dad. So I don't know if that's a bad thing. Yeah. Otherwise. I hope to get married someday, maybe someday. before 30 or something. I also don't believe in that thing of saying, um, of dating for eight years and above, and you're just there with a guy with no direction. That's torture. That's why you should be with someone that, or who knows what they want to do in life. Yeah, that should be illegal. Even that though they know what they want to illegal. do in life, they should also, what you guys want to do together in life. Yeah, because there's a men in this world that are so selfish. As much as they don't want us to be housewives, they want to push whatever they want to do. Like they want you to support them. Forget about yourself and just support them. Yeah. So I don't think I want that for myself. And for me to marry someone, I don't know. I Why guess you just take... have to know me. Why would it take for you know Jesse to propose and you to say yes? <laughs> Um, first I must achieve whatever I want to achieve and he knows what I want to achieve so if I've achieved that then maybe we can talk about marriage to the extent that we're very very serious about it not just sitting and daydreaming about things <laughs> he should also know the kind of rings that I like he shouldn't I don't and know your size of course mm-hmm. I don't know I think if someone's going to propose to me and then the ring is like too big that would be a turn off for me. Someone proposed on Twitter and the ring was too small. No. I saw the ring was just too small. Eesh. That's insulting. That injustice. That's sad. Much, right? No, that, that's really sad. It's kind of like a sign from the universe. Like, <laughs> it's not meant to be. But then what do you think about marriage nowadays? 
marriage is i think especially for people our age people are getting married too quickly mm-hmm. yeah Very i think true. most people are for the idea of the wedding and not marriage itself like what the exactly goes on here in marriage i think people just you know they're excited about the dress the bridesmaids the food the cake the shoes the suits and then when it comes to real issues in marriage people now start to complain and say okay maybe we actually did rush but then women are rushing for different things badness they think when you turn 25 it's a must to get married why not just chill out because some of us women are turning into punching bags no, that's that's true and that's actually sad. and some of us are just marrying for the sake of just marrying you don't even love the person but you want to get married financial stability exactly <laughs> also i think parents should look into that maybe don't pressure us into such things for those that are pressured not me of course and but are you sure it's kind of like the parents that force these days not the kids that no know. it's on us because we're failing to find jobs we're failing to do this we're failing to do that so we think marriage is the next big thing that we should follow up but otherwise i'd rather stay in my parents house until <laughs> that day comes okay then what do you think about also someone? marry someone that you know yeah that's true but knowing in what way you know there are people that can actually pretend for then, eight years huh? There are people that are really good at pretending. Then once they say you never really know someone until you actually live with them. I was going to go to that day because <laughs> it's many things. If you find if you live with someone and find that they're just unbearable, maybe try someone else. But at the end of the day, you're learning what someone likes. So it's either you respect that funny doesn't like your socks being thrown at the door when you come in. Mm-hmm. Look into that. You're supposed to be respecting each other's opinions and tear the other one out yeah that's a man when you marry them it becomes a mon mm-hmm. the dog is on drugs it just <laughs> everything just changes so i don't know Leave the dog but alone. otherwise i'm terrified of marriage but you know, i think marriage is a beautiful thing you get to especially for some people they get to spend the rest of their lives with their best friend like with someone that they really care about you know and have this life together so it's it's i don't know there's like two sides of the coin there's the bad side then there's the good side i think no marriage is actually perfect you just have to you know take both the good and the bad so it means you have to find someone that understands you or yeah. is willing to listen do we have those men nowadays or <laughs> women nowadays because mm-hmm. These days, men are actually now the ones who are rushing for marriage, especially if they see the ladies financially Very stable. True. Not even if you're not, <laughs> men are trapping because they just don't want to see with another person. Men are ready to make us their baby mamas, but not their wives. Ish. And that is so sad. Mm-hmm. Very and sad. that's actually unfair. Like, guys, what is wrong with the men out there? Why are they doing this? <laughs> Pull up your socks. So make us your wives first, that's in the children later. Because a long time, everyone was talking about how women were trapping men. Yeah, it's but like now, now it's things have changed. So, I don't know. I just don't know. But would you, um, let's say in a situation where you and Jesse are married in future, and he's not working, and you're the one that's, you know, bringing home, like, the bacon, would you still be comfortable with that? Of course, I would be comfortable because okay. So what if he was working and maybe he lost his job or there's just something going on? You have to stick by someone. But then the thing is, he shouldn't change in that period because some men find that as a reason to cheat. Yeah. Oh, just because she's buying everything now, I can't make decisions. I'm the type of person oh, that I like, can't feel like a man mm-hmm, anymore. <laughs> I don't feel like a man. So. If at the end of the day I'm the one bringing the check, whatever the case is, we sit down and say this goes here, this goes there, and I think I'll be fine with that. But then if you start acting like I've killed your relatives, then we've got a problem. Yeah. How would you handle such a situation? I think that's like an ego issue. I would, ish. I know it would secretly crush him. It would. It would. But I think that's why women are supposed to be helpers. Mm-hmm. At least just help him know that you still support him, you still love him, 
even if he's not where he wants to be at that point at least you know give him a a push but then there's some guys even if you push them to do something that they want they just don't do it no then that's a lazy man <laughs> a very <laughs> comfortable man i cannot condone a lazy man and then when you come back with a check they're going to say you do nothing for me they're forgetting you're the one paying the rent and can you imagine i've dated a guy before who literally didn't want to look for a job can you name and shame him <laughs> no <laughs> no names <laughs> mentioned he graduated before me and i found a job before him and i graduated like 2 years after him he didn't want to like go out there and like do the work um go like office to office door to door like looking for a job or even like try to ask for help i literally reached a point of sending out application letters for him mm. because i cared about him that much and then like thank god the relationship ended because i just knew that okay this is not where i want to be i wanted someone who would also you know like push me as well mm-hmm. i think you're supposed to like you know help out your bay and do this and that but for him that was like total laziness and at the end of the day he's just at home like getting drunk chilling with his friends doing this and that so no to lazy men i can't <laughs> <laughs> that's only a uh, pet peeve what else tends you off what else i think in a marriage cleanliness for me is a big deal <laughs> like i cannot go to bed without having a shower and if we both had a long day we can't you know like mix our sweat in the same <laughs> bed at least you know shower before going to bed but some men would take that differently okay It's up then, to your boyfriend to understand that that's what you like I hope he understands. Well, for <laughs> me, if he can do that, at least he should try and do it for me. Like, okay. My wife doesn't like to when I come to bed, you know, all sweaty from the day's errands and what not. So, he just has to, you know, find a way. <laughs> What's your like age limit when it comes to marriage? Um, I wouldn't marry a guy that that's in it. 15 years older than I am. It's 10 fine. 10 also is a bit on the higher side. I think for me 5. 5 does it for me. If he's 5 years older than I am, like that is even a turn on for me. I mean, like, okay, he's mature. He's, you know, he's older, so I'm sure he's been through oh, that's what we think. You think <laughs> <laughs> even though they're like some <laughs> really childish older mm-hmm. guy. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> But yeah, I think age sometimes really does matter. It does? Yeah. When it comes to what? As in settling down with someone. I don't think I can marry someone younger than I am. But at least don't listen to you. I'm trying to think. I think would you do I you know, marry someone that was like younger than you? Ah, uh, no, marry no. No. I'd rather be single than marry someone who's older than me, but I'm trying to think Mm-hmm. What did I say? I don't even know if I made sense. I'm trying to think of something that tells me or oh. also I need to be in a relationship with someone where we can discuss money freely. Yeah. Because you don't want to be in a relationship with someone once you or how you divide it mm. or spend it. Okay. Everyone Now I should be free. That brings me to this question. Would you be okay if you know your husband came from this really really rich family properties land this and that businesses oil companies and then you're this like simple uh simple lady you know maybe you only have like one property to your name mm-hmm. would you be comfortable talking about money with him Yeah, why not? I mean, he's talking about big figures. <laughs> he's talking about like things that he owns <laughs> or not or the family owns because things, those are two different things. Things that he owns, obviously he's got like his name to mm-hmm. the properties and all this and I that. I think I'd be comfortable because there's nothing wrong with that. I don't know. I feel I, I think the problem comes in when it's me that has all these things and uh-huh. the guy is maybe from a poor family. <laughs> Cause I saw they 
punish you for things that you don't even understand. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I would feel I would feel uncomfortable. Like kind of like so sometimes it's kind of like uncomfortable because my house is like you know tiny and then but his house is like mind. so that's the that's the really good part about him that's why i actually really do like him because he doesn't mind but sometimes it's a bit uncomfortable because you see how someone spends money and the way you spend money is actually different so <laughs> it's i don't know it's a bit for me it's a bit on the shy side for me so long as He's fine with helping you. If anything, a man is a breadwinner, so <laughs> I'll be comfortable, very, very comfortable. Yeah, and I know. But then don't get that. Huh? A lot of ladies would be comfortable with that. If Anyone would be comfortable, but then at the end of the day, don't you think you should sit down and say maybe let's come up with with this? Yeah. Something that you guys can claim as this is ours, Always. not this is yours. Like okay, we're both bringing you know something on the table. Still, he has to be the breadwinner. So, <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm joking. I'm joking. No, but it actually is good. I think you tend to respect a man more when what if he's like the breadwinner. I know. Yes. Mm-hmm. Having, okay, no, I'm so telling you. Are you telling me you want to respect your man if he loses whatever he has? No, not in that way. But I feel it adds some kind like, of respect to it. I feel like when that's when men are comfortable more. We should say that, not that. Otherwise, yeah. that's when men just feel like they own the world, and it brings out, you know, his confidence mm-hmm. when he knows. Yes. Okay, I'm doing this for my wife. I'm doing that. So now, should we pretend that we're poor <laughs> <laughs> for these men to feel comfortable? <laughs> no, of course not. Another thing I fear is marrying someone, and then maybe the relatives don't like you. Ish, that is like. That's what scares That's me. That's the worst. Life. That's the worst. Especially his mom. <laughs> like you even know the deal breaker is his mom. His mom has to like you. Like she just has to. Some of us are in a long distance relationship. <laughs> so what's there to like or hate? Like I thank God like his mom is not around. She's in the States, so I'm okay. I'm good for now. He's going to come one day. <laughs> He's going to want to introduce you. And ish, I don't know. I would be, I would definitely be frightened. And I think we spoke about this before we started recording. Um, meeting the guy's family or the other way around. Your thoughts, your two cents on that. I can't, I can't introduce any guy to my parents. Why? Until he says, "Babe, I think it's time. I need to meet your family. I want to marry you. I'm bringing Dumbale." <laughs> then I can say, okay, babe, let's do this. But just for the sake of meeting my parents, no. Why? No. Because sometimes parents can see, is it the good or bad in someone when they meet them? <sighs> yeah. Like my mom. My mom has this, I don't know. She has this thing of knowing. Like, okay, this one, yeah. This relationship will definitely last. This one, no. But again, she's too much of a good person. So she ends up, you know, showing their faces like, oh, my son, sunny, mm-hmm. sunny. <laughs> but in the background, she come and pull me by the side and say, mm, this guy, I don't trust him. I don't know how I feel about all these things. But would you? Has introduced? Has Jesse like met your parents? He's met Faith. He's never spoken to my parents, no. I think that's different. I think a sibling is different from. <laughs> I think a sibling but would be much better. So, I was spoken to the mom once, and that's and it. Did she seem to like you? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you can, she can answer that. I don't know. I really don't know. Okay, what vibe did you get? I don't, have you ever spoken to someone's friend? It's like <laughs> you're going. Ah, I don't even know. I was in shock. It's. It's stressful. I think I would I would be sweating on the phone. <laughs> I couldn't talk. I really <laughs> couldn't talk. But then would I want him to meet my parents? Of course, yes, but not over the phone. You know how maybe I'm talking to him on WhatsApp or something. Mm-hmm. I don't think that's the right way. He can come and he'll meet them. Or whatever. Or whatever. I don't even know. We've never even spoken about this. Depends on what he's comfortable with. 
yeah he's fine with meeting my relatives or maybe he's just playing around with me doesn't want to meet them i think if you bring relatives in the picture and siblings then there should be some sense of seriousness yeah. guys we can't be you know going around meeting each other's family members and you know but have you ever been in a relationship where someone is scared of doing something because the relationship the, the past relationship didn't work out yeah no, i can't introduce you to my parents because my last girlfriend disappointed me yeah i've done that before like i'm never yeah. introducing any guy to my parents <laughs> i think it's happened to me but then why should i be blamed for your past yeah. do you understand because even that is a red flag just because someone hurt you doesn't mean i'm going to do the same too so would you say they're still you know no, i just think it's being dumb get over your relationship it's been what six but it, months it does hurt i mean but we're not the same person that's what i'm saying we're not the same person not all of us are going to leave you <laughs> even when you expect us to leave you we'll stay but Ima- my <laughs> imagine four years and then i say we're done ah no four that's, years is a lot it's yeah that's definitely a lot. four years that's is a lot a lot of investment too much data too much ish. too much time you can't even <laughs> refund someone that okay so but what i know is i i don't think i'll trash into marriage let's let's move to another topic cooking in a <laughs> marriage <laughs> would you allow your husband to cook for you good hands. oh my gosh <laughs> <laughs> yes of course i've been looking for this <laughs> there's things in this world mm-hmm. okay an example is just saying that there's things in this i mean we eat different foods yeah there's kenyan food there's zambian food so if he wants wants me to taste something why not but have I'll you thought of that. learning how to cook kenyan food uh, no <laughs> so you need to take Kevin that into consideration he wants to marry me so <laughs> we can chill when it comes to such things but otherwise i'm trying my best because imagine after grade 12 i couldn't cook Uh-huh. I used to burn stuff. Are you serious? But I'm improving. The, the whole point of this thing is that I'm improving. Uh huh. So I'm trying. I'm trying my best. She also has to fall in love with Zambian food. Hmm. I think in a relationship, I can't cook for a guy. We can cook together, but I cannot cook for him. Like you know, even serve him on a plate, take the food to him. No, I can never do that. In a marriage, of course, I would gladly even kneel down. They were telling him all that. <laughs> But are you fine with him cooking for you? I'm fine with him cooking for me, especially maybe on days when I'm really tired. That would be really helpful. But it shouldn't be a situation where I have to ask him. He has mm. to, you know, like try and do that on his own. Yeah, that makes sense. Don't ask, let them do. Because yeah. there's some people that see you're tired and they still want you to break your back just to feed them. <laughs> We are coming back from work and you found him home <laughs> by the way at 19 and he's asking you to prepare beans <laughs> <laughs> and beans takes 3 hours <laughs> no 3 <laughs> to 4 hours and dry fish he's been telling you babe I'm craving dry fish and beans what <laughs> and the entire day he's just been what maybe maybe sleeping yeah that that wouldn't be fair how do you feel about um friendly men when you're dating someone who's just too friendly and they're like no this is just how i am mm 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 is no, this someone no, no. <laughs> or maybe your boyfriend comes now he can't he says hi to you that's intense to me and says hey babe no <laughs> no 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 i wouldn't ish i wouldn't i wouldn't accept that i think from the get go even like when you're in a relationship that's what i say it's like gauge. people don't understand me You have to set boundaries. Yeah. No, I'm not fine with other people. But no, that is wrong. What for? <laughs> like doesn't the person have a boyfriend or something? That's just that's just wrong, especially baby. I mean, you're calling me baby and you're <laughs> okay with calling another female baby. That's wrong. I would I would stop that right there and then. That's why I said And I would let her know like in his presence like, okay. This <laughs> What if you're not there? He should respect me enough. <laughs> Imagine on Valentine's Day, you're meeting maybe at night, so you go for work, he goes for work, you come uh-huh. back, maybe the minute he comes to you, maybe he gets a call from this girl wishing him a happy Valentine's. 
Why is he wishing my man happy Valentine's Day? I don't know. People are strange. No. Women are strange. No, she should find her own man and wish him that. And what if your boyfriend says, but she's got a boyfriend? No, still, that's wrong. Ask him this. Would you be okay if her man like told you happy Valentine's Day? And brought you flowers and chocolates. <laughs> would he be okay with that? And obviously his answer would be no. Then yeah, he's gotten his answer. <laughs> I really don't understand women in this world. <laughs> People really have the guts to do such things. I know, and even like for ourselves as women, we should also be able to reason and say, okay, I wouldn't want another female doing this to my man. So mm-hmm. I shouldn't, you know, make someone else's man feel comfortable. It's about respect. Yeah. Respect the woman that's there now. Yeah. You can't be calling someone's boyfriend at 24 talking about I have a bad toothache. Go to the doctor <laughs> in the morning. What's wrong with you? That is so ish. No. It's never happened to you? It's never happened to me. But I have had a situation where... This was like before I we dated. But it was kind of like a situation where... This girl like came over. And first she called. She's like, um, since he has a pool at his house. I want to come over and swim. Is that okay with you? I'm like, oh. Okay. And then he tells me, um... This friend of mine is coming over to swim. She's coming with a bikini. She's like really curvaceous, you know, mm-hmm. big hips and whatnot. And she comes without a towel. And she says, oh, I've come to swim. I'm like, no, if you're really coming to swim, you're going to come with your own towel. Why should you not ask for a towel from, you know, someone who's my bae? Do like, you know guys <laughs> find it normal? And that's the thing. Luckily, there were other guys around and he wasn't really like, you know... The only person there? He, no. He or paying her attention? No, he wasn't actually even, you know, giving her attention. So that was like a, a plus for me. I was like, okay, good. But now I imagine if I wasn't there and if she came over. Oh my gosh, now I'm thinking. <laughs> it's like guys don't even think about such things. I really yeah. don't understand the... I don't know who brought me or who created them. <laughs> Because oh clearly you can't be that dumb. Yeah. It just doesn't make sense. Anyway, so our last thoughts on marriage. I would say marriage over is good. It's. I think it's good. Thing. Just marry someone who's going to allow you to express yourself. Not yeah. every time you say something, they think you're nagging. Yeah. Or something. And someone who will respect you. Yeah. Respect how I feel. That's the most important thing. So, for that, guys. <laughs> All right. Anyway, guys, this has been diving in with Fanny and Jesse. Until next time, we're going to see you in the next podcast. And peace out.